China wants to conquer Taiwan, and it's willing to invade if necessary. But why? Welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. China is an authoritarian country ruled by the Chinese Communist Party. Taiwan is a vibrant democracy ruled by a nice lady who loves cats. But unfortunately for Taiwan, it's just 100 miles off the coast of China. And the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, wants to invade. Of course, the CCP would prefer for Taiwan to voluntarily surrender. But that's unlikely to happen. Most people in Taiwan now see themselves as Taiwanese, not as Chinese. They want to maintain their independence knowing that life will be hell if they concede control to China. They saw what happened after the CCP took over Hong Kong. Hong Kong had freedoms under British rule that nowhere else in China had. And when the CCP took over, they promised to let Hong Kong keep those freedoms for 50 years. But in less than 25, they had already turned Hong Kong into a communist police state. China now says they want peaceful unification with Taiwan. But their own white paper makes it very clear they will not renounce the use of force to put Taiwan under their control. Because nothing says we want peaceful unification like we'll do it by force. The CCP is planning for a Taiwan takeover, using its military force to intimidate Taiwan training its soldiers for invasion, threatening to attack other countries that provide support, and even making John Cena apologize for accidentally calling Taiwan a country. No wonder John Cena played peacemaker. Because like China, they say they love peace, and they'll murder as many people as they need to get it. But why? Why does China want to take over Taiwan so badly? It all comes down to what the Chinese Communist Party is. At its core, it's a Marxist-Leninist regime that wants global communism. It demands total control over all aspects of the state and society. Anything outside its control is seen as a threat. In order to gain power in the 20th century, the Chinese Communist Party waged a civil war with the ruling nationalist Chinese government. Although with the CCP's doublespeak, I don't know if they consider that a civil war or just aggressive gentrification. The point is, in 1949, the Communist Party won the war. The nationalist government fled to Taiwan, their last remaining stronghold. Since then, Taiwan has transformed into a vibrant liberal democracy, with its own functioning government, military, economy, and whatever this is, all without the CCP. Taiwan's national slogan may as well be, living well is the best revenge. But Taiwan's existence threatens the Chinese Communist Party. It shows that Chinese people can have a vibrant democracy. That exposes the CCP's lie, which is that Chinese people need a strong hand in power to thrive. Yeah, society under the Communist Party seems to be thriving right now. So when you hear the CCP talk about reunification, what it really means is taking over a democratic country by force. As for the term reunified, it's based on a lie. The island of Taiwan was a part of China before the Chinese Communist Party took over the mainland in 1949, but at no point was Taiwan ever under the control of the CCP. The Chinese regime has spent decades insisting that Taiwan is just a renegade province that must be reunified with China. Essentially, they're asking for reunification with a country they were never unified with. That'd be like me saying Taylor Swift and I should totally start dating again. So why did the CCP want to take over Taiwan so badly? According to current Chinese leader Xi Jinping, reunification is in the fundamental interests of the Chinese nation. Taiwan is key for Chinese world domination for several reasons. For one, Taiwan is the world's largest and most advanced producer of semiconductors. Those are essential for modern electronic devices. They power everything from computers to healthcare to even military systems. And Garfield alarm clocks. Clearly, you're now starting to understand the true power of Taiwan. 
Control over Taiwan's manufacturing could help China get the components it needs to compete against advanced countries like the U.S. Taiwan's geography is important, too. Taiwan is part of what's called the First Island Chain, a set of islands from Japan down to the Philippines that restrict China's ability to project power in the Pacific Ocean. Controlling part of the First Island Chain is the first step for China to become a dominant global power. Ugh. Why couldn't China try to project power like most other creeps going through a midlife crisis? By buying a leather jacket and dating someone young enough to be their daughter. China would like gold diggers, since they're used to making young people mine for minerals. If China controls Taiwan, it would be able to easily deploy ships and submarines in the Pacific Ocean. It could also set up surveillance and weapons systems. And they could use all those things to start taking over smaller countries, like all the Pacific Island nations, and eventually confront the United States. Controlling Taiwan would also help the CCP enforce its claims over the South China Sea. It could control ships in one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. Maybe if your government doesn't play nice with the CCP, they start taxing your civilian ships. China would also gain a lot of political leverage through this as well. For example, it could punish Japan, which heavily relies on the Taiwan Strait for its imports. Essentially, China wants to oppress Taiwan so it can have an easier time oppressing the rest of the world. Man, that's shady. I sure am glad no one does large-scale business with them. That'd be foolish, right? Fortunately, an invasion of Taiwan won't be easy, and the CCP knows this. Taiwan is hardening up its defenses with more training and weapons procurement. And Taiwan has allies like the U.S. and Japan on its side. The CCP, of course, will keep looking for ways to conquer Taiwan, because as long as the Chinese Communist Party is in power, It'll never stop seeking more power, through whatever violent, peaceful means are necessary. So what do you think? Leave your comments below. And this show is only possible because of viewer support. Seriously, we're not getting any funding from China. Please visit patreon.com slash China Uncensored and contribute a dollar or more per episode so we can keep making videos like this. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.